Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. I got another tool review from Klein Tools and it's another Klein screwdriver. I actually noticed this by looking at Lowe's.com because if you've noticed, I've had a couple of shorts where I've just been going in Lowe's and it seems like they have a new tool every single day from Klein. And I decided, you know what? My Lowe's doesn't even carry new stuff half the time. I'm going to get online and see if there's anything else new by Klein that I haven't noticed yet. One of the things that I saw was a set of nut drivers, a lot like the Weha set. That's like 40 bucks, I think, for the Weha set. They have a Klein set now for $29 or $29.98 or something like that. Not a bad set. If that's something you're looking for, I don't particularly need those, so I didn't get those. But I did notice this screwdriver, and it is their Impact 13-in-1 ratcheting screwdriver. Now, I've already had the 15-in-1 ratcheting screwdriver for quite some time. I don't think I've ever done a review for this, but I've had that one. And then I saw this, and I thought, I'm going to get this because I think it's going to be more useful than that one, to me anyways. And I just, it had some nice features on it. So I'm going to share with you what those are, what's different about this one in comparison to that one. And then you can make up the decision maybe if this one's a better upgrade, if you've already got that one, or maybe you have neither one and you want to get one of them, one of them might be a better fit for you. But let's go ahead and get into these two screwdrivers. So the Impact 13-in-1 ratcheting screwdriver, this one's going to run you $23. And again, as far as I know, it's only available at Lowe's. Maybe it's one of those things that used to be the way it was at Home Depot. It would start there for a little while, and then you'd start seeing it other places. Uh, the part number on this is 32313HD. And uh, again, it's a 13-in-1. Here's the bit sizes. Instead of me going through all those, I'll just put this up there. Uh, that way you can take a look at those. It's basically 12 bits and then a quarter inch is what size you have here uh, as far as for your shaft to be able to use that as a nut driver. Uh, so again, $23, uh, not too bad with that. Now the 15-in-1 ratcheting is going to run you $22, so it's only a dollar more for the other one. And there's a couple of things that are a big difference on it. And then for the most part, the ratcheting and stuff like that, I think might be a little better on this one. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But this one being a 15 and one instead of a 13 and one, it basically has the same exact bits with the exception of this one does come with that combi bit set uh, of the number one and number two combination bit or ECX bit in Milwaukee is what they call it. So that's basically the only difference. Uh, but the main thing is the bits in this one are that standard like climb with the ball bearing in it, kind of like what goes in there 11 and ones and things like that. So that's all you can use in this screwdriver are the bits that come with it. You can't really use anything else. Wherein you get to this Impact 13-in-1 ratcheting screwdriver, all the bits are impact rated and they're basically double-sided bits and in the same way that you can take them out and put them into your impact drivers, drills, whatever you want to use them for and use them like that. And so you get all these sizes here, the same ones as in that one, again, with the exception of the ECX bits. This handle does come out a little bit farther than that one to make getting the bits out a little bit easier because sometimes these go down in there and they were hard to get out for me. So this one does open a little bit more, but I also did notice, I mean, with that fully extended, that's got a lot of play right there. And it looks like to me, that's just a plastic piece in there. My guess is if I really wanted to right now, I could take it and just break that right off. So if you ever have that open and you drop it or something like that, I'm not real sure how long that's gonna last. Uh, not that this one's really a whole lot better. It's probably about the same. So if you haven't had any issues with your other one, it's probably not a lot different, but I'm just making you aware of that. That's It feels pretty loose to me. So uh, so the bits, that's the main one of the main differences. Uh, this one also has some knurling on the handle here. If you can see that there, it's not significant, but it is nice that it's got a little bit in case you need to get some grip, especially on a ratcheting screwdriver. Sometimes that might even be more useful than on a regular one, whereas... The 15 and one it's just slick all the way up and down there isn't any knurling on it at all so lengthwise both of them with the bits that actually come with this one if you use that you're exactly the same it's right at that nine and a quarter i don't think that bits down in there all the way so it's right at nearly about the same nine and a quarter inches long uh, on both of them however the handle on this one significantly slimmer i think i measured that diameter of this around an inch and an eighth and i think this was around like an inch and five sixteenths so about you know that much difference i don't know if you can really even tell right there but it is quite a bit it's probably like a three sixteenths difference between the diameters the impact 13 and one is actually 
more like the size of a 11 in one if you've got a Klein 11 in one and you like the size of that handle this one's pretty much identical to those so again some of the big things I hear people complain about some of these Klein bit holding screwdrivers is that they're too fat especially like the flip socket handle or things like that so if that's too thick uh, that's kind of a bonus on this one and then the biggest thing to me uh, out of all of it is no matter what it's the fact that I can take this out now I'm not stuck using those double-sided bits with the ball bearing so now I can take a Malco if I want to I can put that in there and use it like that I can take another bit holder if I've got a bit that I want to use that's not included in these double bit things like this so now I can do that or even if I want a shorter screwdriver, you can take a bit like this. Uh, that would put you a little bit shorter than using this bit right here. Or some bits you can go with just the small size. Here's a DeWalt one. If I put that in there, it sticks out far enough that it's easy for me to grab that and pull that out. But if you get if you use a bit where like the head goes and then it kind of indents back in like the Milwaukee's, you put that in there, it recesses down in there quite a bit. Uh, I don't think that you're going to be able to get that back out with your fingers. You're going to have to take a pair of pliers or something and, and pull that out. So, so again, that's the main differences. Uh, more than anything, probably the handle size is going to be a big thing for some people. To me, it's the fact that I can take any bit that I normally carry around with me and stick in this screwdriver. I always prefer my multi-bit screwdrivers to be that way because that way if I've got some weird fastener, some weird bit, even with this right here, if I had a firm co or something like that, I could get out a ratcheting screwdriver, set that on there like that, and then use it like so, and sit there and tighten that if I was in a tight spot and couldn't reach my hand around enough to be able to really get on things. As far as the ratcheting feature between both of them, I will say I personally feel like this one might be a little bit better. It seems like as far as the, and I don't know the terms for it, I think it's back drag or whatever else, but just the ratcheting function altogether. It's the same way as the other Klein, or all these Kleins are the same. You pull it back towards this way to go forward and this way to go backward as far as your knob. I think to me that seems backwards. I think the PB Swiss was maybe the other way around whenever I had it. Uh, but basically you turn it to the left to be able to go clockwise turn it to the right to go counterclockwise or you put it in the middle for fixed. So if I turn it to the left to go to tighten something, this screwdriver seems like it at least while that screws out there loose seems to catch more often than not. But even even with both of them, they don't do real well on like a loose screw, but this one seems to do better again than the new one. I don't know if it's just this particular screw but for the most part i have to be pretty tight on something uh right there it's not catching at all so until i get it basically to where it's caught pretty good it really won't even do any ratcheting on certain things like i put it on this firm co here and it will ratchet the whole entire time so it just depends on how loose or tight uh, your screw is because i can go to that one and then now, now I can back that out and it will ratchet the entire time. But it's because there's a lot more like tension or that screws in there tighter. It's just held better. So it's catching more. But it seems like this screwdriver might be a little bit better at if a screw is loose to work. But they're both very similar. I wouldn't say it's drastically different. I'm just letting you know that that one might be a little bit better. So yeah, guys, that's the Impact 13-in-1 ratcheting screwdriver from Klein. Again, I believe it's only available at Lowe's. If you know that you've seen it somewhere else, let us know that in the comments below. Uh, but I feel like it's worth the extra dollar just for that slimmer handle. I do like that. But more than anything, even the fact that I can just put this one bit right here in there, the quarter and 5 16th Malco, I use that all the time. I'm more likely to get this screwdriver out and use it with this bit right here probably than any of the bits that are inside of it just because of what you do with that bit uh, but the fact that again i can take those out now put those in my impact if i want to along with these other bits i, I think it's worth the extra dollar but let me know in the comments below what you think would you pay the extra dollar for that or have you been running this 15 and one for a long time and you really like it uh, i actually don't use this very much i do have a buddy who loves this screwdriver right here uses it all the time and that's actually I may end up giving this one to him. I kind of had it in mind whenever I bought it that I probably was going to give it to him just because 
I'm not a big ratcheting screwdriver fan. Uh, I get their usefulness. I've just really never, uh, it's never been a thing that I really just like using. Just, I'm so used to using regular screwdrivers and turning my wrist. Again, I get why the benefit of it and all those things like that, but I just, I don't like having to think about which way I turn uh, this knob right here most of the time, but I am going to go ahead and try this one for a little while. I'll probably end up giving it to him, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it's out there. I, I know a lot of you love ratchet and screwdrivers. Uh, a lot of you love Klein tools. This might be the right screwdriver for you. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Again, I hope it's useful in some way. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day. See you on the next video.